Uh, we have made it to Point Samson. Samson. Uh, conveniently, our caravan spot is right next to the pub. That's the um, beer garden. We're not too sure yet if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. And we'll um, find out. Uh, yeah, just stopped in here for a couple of nights, just um, stalling our arrival to Port Headland. Um, we'll get there in two days' time. Uh, yeah, which we'll um, camp up for a, a while and do a little bit of work and uh, have a look around the place. Kind of our little last celebration on the road for a while, these two nights. Yep. So, yeah. See you next to the pub. Yeah. Haven't been here for ages um, since uh, I used to live up in Headland back in the day. Used to come down here for weekenders, but yeah, I remember back in 2003, I paid $8.80 for a rum and coke, and I thought it was daylight robbery. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was the most You're expensive drink. Now. Most expensive drink I'd ever ordered, I think. Um, but yeah, the beach is just there. And um, yeah, just gonna probably get a rod together later and go for a little flick and have a bit of a look around. Uh, Cossacks just over there. I've stayed there way back in the day as well. So keen to go check out that. Just came out underneath that um, branch right there. Uh, we just came for a bit of a wander um, out near the harbour, I guess, at Point Sampson here. Just got a, a little bag of tricks. Uh, it's went high tide like an hour ago. So, yeah, just gonna have a bit of a look around, flick some lures, uh, you never know. Um, yeah, I'll just keep changing a few lures over and see what works, some soft plastics and whatever. Yeah, Kel's found herself a bit of shade. Maybe you might get lucky and catch a jack or something. Oh, I swapped over lures, a uh, little Halco. I think they're a little like um, GTs, I think. Just in there, I'm gonna get snagged. the Halco hammer. Oh, <laughs> it's close. Right, I jammed a uh, soft plastic on. Let's see what happens. Bit too heavy, I think. All right, lure number four. Very small little soft plastic. Nope, nothing. Well, I'll uh, move spots, try somewhere else. Yeah, I just popped around the corner here where I was fishing before. Uh, a bit of a deeper drop off there. I didn't bring really any other gear other than the lure I've got on now, a little soft plastic. But uh, I'll flick it around and if it's good I'll, um, I'll come back. 
and uh, bring the other stuff. A few people have lost uh, some fishing line here. I'll clean all that up before I leave. Bloody hell. Gonna get snagged for sure. Oh, what was that? Something big and silver. Trying fast retrieve, slow retrieve. There's a mullet. Yeah, yeah, nothing. A couple of small inquiries. That's about it. Uh, I might try another spot. Uh, just have a drive around town. Yeah, we've made it over to the other side of town. Um, that's the uh, oh, shit loading and all that sort of stuff over there. And I think that there is is Sam's Creek. That's what they call it. This is Sam's Creek Road. We came down, so I'm gathering its old salmony shams. Hey, just gonna chuck the old Rapala subwalk back on. We've got a couple of inquiries before, so I don't know. I'll have a flick around here on the bank and see what we can do. Girl's just gonna chill out. And yeah, I'll go for a look around the corner here. Go out to the end here without stacking it. Mm, yep. What have I got? Got something. Spanish flag. Ha! Huh. Good eating. I think they're going to be about 300 or so. Off you go, buddy. One thing's for sure if you wanted a feed of oysters, uh, everywhere. A few big ones in there, too. Right. Chuck this out. I'll, uh, I'll give this another. I oh, know five ten minutes flicking around here and I'll start making my way back to the creek. Yeah, uh, just got that one Spanish flag. Uh, it would have been undersized, and, um, and that was about it. So yeah, we'll just head back to um, camp and probably go have a beer at the pub. Yeah, I'll reassess uh, and um, try again tomorrow. I get sorted early and have a look at low tide and try and fish a bit of the incoming tide somewhere. Kel's just relaxing. Yep. The boat. Any, any uh, midges? Yep. Oh. Cheers.
um, back down where I was um, yesterday, Arvo. But the tide is um, is well out. It's just on its way back in, actually. Uh, low tide was like maybe an hour ago. Yeah, I'll try off here and flick some stuff around and see what happens. Uh, we're just going to try a bit of a metal slice on. Oh Lord. That'd have to be the one thing I um I love about up here is that um You can just be down at a creek like this, right near a boat harbour, and um, and just the life is amazing. You'd think there'd be nothing, there'd just be this muddy, shitty channel, but there's um, shit busting up everywhere, little sharks just cruising around in the shallows, and bait and stuff everywhere. So, um, Pretty cool. Yeah, I'll give another crack out here. Not yeah, not too bad. I thought it was a tarpon, but I'll get this guy back in. Just a little queenie, chuck him back in the water. Oh, well, that's it. I'm uh, gonna go back and have some breakfast. Uh, that was a good bit of fun before um, before everyone got up. Yeah, we're just gonna. Um, have a look around today and gonna to head out to Cossack, which I think's over that way, or over that way. Then pack up and head to Headland tomorrow. Oh shit. Definitely need reef boots here. Holy shit. Yeah, a couple of little queenies. They're pretty good fun. I was hoping. Jesus. 
I was hoping for a tarpon, but um, did not happen. It's all right. Another day. Get off these rocks without stacking it. I think uh, old mate is a eastern osprey. to it. Yeah, I just came up to the um, lookout above Cossack for a bit of a gander. Do a bit of um, tourist stuff. <laughs> Over there is uh, Wickham. And Point Sampson's around the corner there. Uh, we're at some lookout above <laughs> Cossack. I'm terrible at tourism. Uh, Settlers Beach. Yeah, I think I was reading originally that um, uh, Cossack was originally named Teen Tassin. Uh, that was the name, wasn't it? That was the name of the lugger that bought the first settler here. Yeah. And and then it was later named um, Cossack. Read ahead, look out. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we just drove over to behind Wickham and call like the Yacht Club. Something like that. But um, yeah, seems like a bit better beach that was over near um, Cossack and this one looks pretty good yeah definitely got um, lots of options for uh, fishing if you got a boat here at um, Wickham or Point Sampson we drove through um, Wickham before and uh, every second house has a boat at least, at least yeah probably closer to two-thirds yeah some people had two boats. Uh, yeah, this morning we uh, left uh, Point Sampson and we were there for a couple of nights uh, and today we get to Port Hedland, which we're only um, 15 k's or so out of. Uh, yeah, so we'll be staying here um, semi-permanently for a little bit and doing a little bit of shutdown work and some bits and pieces, a bit of casual work to regain the funds <laughs> and um, see where we get to because we want to do this uh, travel sort of semi-nomad semi-retirement for the foreseeable future and hopefully for the rest of our lives um, we're trying to make it work we're, uh, not a tight budget but we've got a sort of um, um, we've got to work to make it work we've got to work to make it work yeah. unfortunately we haven't got um, Endless pockets of cash and um, a massive inheritance or anything like that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we just uh, we started off this journey with a limited amount of money, uh, around 50 grand to be exact. And um, at the moment, 
and we're down to half of that. So that was our fallback position always when we got down to close to 25 grand. We would knuckle down and um, do a bit of work somewhere and we're at that stage now. So we've already secured some jobs um, in Headland and quite easy at the moment with um, a, a lot Massive of... Massive labour shortage. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. Especially up here, the stories we've heard, like businesses sort of shut down because they can't get anyone. Uh, last time we lived here, almost 20 years ago, I didn't have a boat or anything, so we'll do some missions in the boat and cruise around, have a look at everything. Yeah, we'll um, make our way into town and set up, do a few jobs, and get back to work for a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, this is our spot here in um, South Headland. Been here for a couple of days now, just getting a few things sorted and a few jobs done. Just cooking some um, ham and cheese for Brecky. Got him locked up. And this is our ensuite. Pretty good. That was doing her thing. No Hilton, but it does the job. Does the job. Yeah, last couple of days it's just been um, doing some repairs and um, ordering some bits and the stuff for the van. Uh, now we're going to be here for a couple of months, um, sort of to get a few jobs done while we're here as well and working. Yeah, bits and pieces. Got to fix the door handle this morning. Uh, it's knackered. Um, bought some new um, gas struts for the bed because um, now I've got a new mattress on there. It's a little bit heavier. The gas struts don't um, don't hold the bed up when you lift the bed up for storage and that. So I got some new gas struts. Uh, what else? A new water filter for the um, under the sink. And this is the first time we've used our shade screen on here. And I've ordered another one to go up the end there. Uh, Kel starts work tomorrow, first day, just at the caravan park here. And, and then she has a day off and then works over the weekend and whatever, and does a bit of training and all that sort of thing. And, and I've got another week till I start work, which is good.